G'day Scrappers. Today I thought I'd uh, start off another little series of depopulating um, board videos. Um, I've had a couple of people sort of uh, mention that I should uh, revisit the depopulating videos and um, do a bit of an upgrade. So, uh, well, I don't, uh, as most of you are aware, I sell my circuit board, so I don't generally depopulate fully. Uh, but I did want to do some uh, videos for those people that uh, don't have places to sell their boards and um, basically, you know, what they could do to value add to what they've got. And um, it's certainly a lot easier to sell uh, chips and uh, things like that that we take off boards to, say, for instance, on eBay, things like that. Like here in Australia... Um, I buy here in Victoria, but uh, there's not many sell, uh, buyers out there in other states. And I get so many people asking me, oh, do you know if uh, of a place in Sydney or a place in Perth or South Australia? Uh, and I don't. And so a lot of people are stuck with them and they end up just throwing them into scrap metal. So I will do uh, more videos on the mid-grade and up for uh, you guys. But today I just wanted to uh, focus on low-grade boards and, uh, yeah, just um, looking to value-add to your low-grade boards because, uh, as you most likely are aware, it's all pretty much base metal recovery. So, we, you know, we've got aluminium, transformers, copper coils here, um, and also IC chips and things like that and um, the reason why I'm doing this video is mostly at the moment is that uh, as uh, again as a lot of you are, are aware I buy circuit boards from uh, scrappers all over Melbourne and Victoria even some interstate people bring me uh, circuit boards uh, once or twice a year uh, but I didn't, what I wanted to do is no longer buy low-grade boards from scrappers. Um, I still get my own low-grade boards that I either process or uh, just sell it as is. And, well, the main reason why is here's a wheelie bin full of low-grade boards. Now, low-grade boards do take up a lot of room if you haven't removed transformers and stuff like that. Um, now, this wheelie bin weighs about, there's about 40, 40 to 45 kilos of low-grade boards in this whole full-size wheelie bin. Now, this stuff is only 28 cents a kilo. And to give you an example, scrap steel is 25 cents a kilo. So, um, it's just not worth bringing me this kind of stuff like here we've got 40 odd kilos at 28 cents a kilo you're looking at just over ten dollars now a whole wheelie bin full of circuit boards for 10 bucks um it's just not worth dragging this stuff over to me it usually comes in a whole heap of boxes uh, and um me having to weigh it all up and process it deal with it a lot of times i don't have um, uh, an empty tub so I've got to just tip it onto the ground and then sort it through and restack it and then take it to my buyer and so on so it's a real big process for 10 bucks and my margin is only like 15% or something so if you brought me this bin and I paid you 10 bucks I'm going to sell it for $11.50 and, and so for all that trouble um, of me packing and, and all that for a dollar fifty, uh, it's just not worth it. So I never used to buy low grade boards, but because so many people started bringing me low grade boards, I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll I'll set a price and just to help people out. But it's just uh, yeah, it, it just gets too much, and I don't have enough space for uh, tubs as it is. I certainly usually low grade. I fill up two two tubs and it's just too much space for what it's worth so 
Hence the reason why I'm doing this one, um, starting off with this de depopulating video, because I just wanted to show you guys, especially uh, you guys here in, in Melbourne that are bringing me boards, uh, if you do have spare time, you can value add to your stuff rather than bring it to me. And so what I mean by that is here we still got a CRT t uh, TV boards coming in. And, you know, okay, flyback transformers aren't, aren't worth anything. Uh, there's very little copper in there, so don't have to worry about that. But you got, like, if you got the time, you got IC chips. Now, 28 cents a kilo of this this board as it is but the ic chips i'm paying about 16 dollars a kilo for these ic chips even these crystals they're not worth much but they're certainly worth more than 28 cents a kilo um things like uh, aluminium uh, you've got now you've got extruded aluminium that are stuck on uh screwed onto mosfets um yeah you can take that off if you wanted to spend that time and you get you know the good value out of the extruded aluminium this extruded at the moment is selling for about two dollars a kilo so compared to 28 cents the other option you can do is if you didn't want to waste your time removing the mosfets and screws and little bits of steel pins and stuff you can just uh, get your pliers and just break off this extruded aluminium heatsink and just throw the whole lot complete into irony aluminium now at the moment irony aluminium is still about 60 cents a kilo might even be more it's quite good at the moment so just as it is you you're uh, more than doubling your value just breaking this off and th sending it to the scrapyard as irony aluminium and you also got little bits of copper hidden in these once you start uh, busting things open you'll find uh, copper underneath this uh, bit of rubber uh, uh, even this one here th these capacitors they're um, an aluminium capacitor but they've got uh, you know contaminants inside so you can throw these still into irony aluminium as well and um and once you've taken you know and if you had time you could take all the little capacitors off and um but certainly these little like this little blue thing there underneath this rubber it's uh, there's a copper coil in there so you, you know copper is 11 11 dollars a kilo or so so it adds up so if you do have time this is what i recommend you do and then what you still got left over is you've removed the transformer all the value stuff and the rest of it you can still throw it into scrap steel you throw it into empty pcs uh, empty you know steel buckets or whatever and tip it out at the scrapyard and you're still getting 25 percent or 25 cents a kilo even if you're just getting 20 cents a kilo you far increased your value uh, by picking off stuff and some people just don't have uh, time to pick um, all this kind of stuff they're just uh, they're just uh, doing scrapping for in, in a part time just a few hours a week or something and so they just get them they prefer to just put them aside and that but you end up if you're a scrapper in any way you end up going to the scrapyard with scrap steel so if you don't have time well then just throw the whole lot into uh, scrap pressing steel and let the scrap yards get the value out of the aluminium and copper and all that once they shred it all up and separate the metals um, and so therefore see because when you go uh, most scrappers go to the scrap yard quite often maybe uh, uh, at least once a month say whereas they might come to me once once a year and so they're stockpiling this low-grade stuff for a whole year to not get really any value all they're getting at the moment is three cents a kilo more sending them to me than they would just to their regular scrapyard and it would save them a lot of space a lot of bins or boxes and and all that so <coughs> that's going to be it from here is that um i won't be buying low grade boards anymore just mid-grade uh, all your motherboards high grade tel telecom slot cards and then obviously i'm still buying chips and things so if you do have extra time you want to remove your chips and stuff uh bring it to me as you can see this is all high end and uh some super high end so th this is worth it like here we've got a, a telecom grade board it's uh, you know probably about six dollars a kilo or five dollars fifty a kilo now, that's a big difference and so 
you know, same as your, your laptop motherboards. Uh, uh, this is all for precious metal recovery. And so that's what I'm basically buying now is boards that are mid-grade. Even that we can go as a just a mid-grade board, mid-grade and above. And most mid-grade boards are green. Um, so what I'm going to do is just uh, get a bunch of low-grade boards. Um, I might even do it here. I've got a few on on the table here, and just uh, yeah, just show you what I would depopulate from these boards. Okay, so here we go uh, with your your old school CRT television circuit board. Now, admittedly, these are are getting less and less out there, and so, but surprisingly, still a lot of scrappers find them and pick them up and uh, bring me the boards so all I'm going to do is just pick around okay so under here uh, we've got a nice big Sony uh, IC chip okay now I've mentioned uh, before uh, uh, to you guys that don't be surprised at the quality of the the IC chip on these CRT boards uh, it doesn't you don't need to get high grade board to get good gold recovery from IC chips and uh, so so okay so I'm, I'm taking off a bit of steel so I'm, I'm still not losing this is the the thing and it's really pointless me buying low-grade boards I get enough of them myself to deal with and um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's pointless bringing me low-grade boards. Um, when uh, most scrappers, they go to uh, the scrapyard and sell their non-ferrous stuff. So why not just sell all this? So usually some of these uh, IC chips can be really tight, um, a bit hard. But I usually use these monkey grips pretty much for everything. Um, probably the most unbelievable tool. And I just sort of squeeze, usually squeeze in the middle, and just jiggle it around. And sometimes it gets a, you know, just won't come. Um, you can sort of pry, squeeze some of the legs a bit more. But this takes a bit of effort. Okay, so it's broken and that's okay. And I'll just... Uh, Usually, if you don't see gold, there's very little gold, or if any, in there. And I can't see gold in this one, so, okay, that's fine. But if you, uh, you can still sell these to me, even if they're broken, that's fine, no problem. Um, and like I said, I'm paying like $16 a kilo for IC chips. Uh, um, but... Just because one wasn't gold, it doesn't mean now this board's virtually broken in half. Doesn't mean there is no chips with gold, and maybe uh, we'll get to see an IC chip that has very significant gold. So I'll just crack into these until I find one. Okay, just trying to. Okay, so. Um, it looks like, yeah. So the bonding wires in this case are very lightly gold-plated. Um, whereas this uh, actual central plate there, uh, where the little chip is, doesn't look like it's got any gold there. So I can't see gold there, but it could also be silver. But definitely the bonding wires that lead to every one of these legs are gold. Okay, so yeah, like I said, don't be uh, um, surprised at the amount of gold recovery on these. And I, I love buying old chips, especially, you know, where it doesn't matter. They don't need to be ceramic. Ceramic usually... There's a pretty, a much better chance for it there to be gold in the IC chip, um, whereas plastics, not so much. But with these old school CRT boards, they can be uh, better than uh, 
even chips from the highest grade all right so so what do i want to take off these two bits of board um obviously i want my copper coil so copper 11 dollars a kilo why sell it to me for 28 cents a kilo uh, if you've got time pick them off especially these copper coils they're probably the you know the easiest thing to uh take off these old school boards and um sometimes they just break straight up and you've got some ferrite here so all this leftover crumble and stuff this all goes to scrap steel you just fill up an old pc or a you know fill a bucket up and just tip it out when you go to the scrap yard oh <laughs> my uh one of my chickens no matter where i'm working <laughs> uh she'll uh, pop up and so with these they're really simple it's just a matter of putting a screwdriver in holding on to the end of the copper and just winding it out if you don't get tangled so I, I, I usually try and do these as I'm going otherwise when you build up a whole thing just like with anything it becomes a a week's worth of work on its own so there we go now so we've got really nice copper here it's uh it's close to bare bright it probably does still have a bit of lacquer on it but uh they're usually quite shiny and you can get away with this going into bare bright but it doesn't really make much difference it's only 20 or 30 cents a kilo so there we go beautiful piece of copper it adds up uh yeah if you're a scrapper you, you're taking copper to the scrapyard so uh <laughs> just put it in your bucket and away you go all right so there's not a lot on this part of it there is a aluminium capacitor so depends how far you want to go as i mentioned so i can leave you know a little, little bit of board on there but that's you know mostly aluminium so this could go into irony aluminium so you can fill up a bucket or a barrel of just capacitors with you know and throw it into your irony aluminium when you when you go to the scrapyard uh like i said it's probably about between 50 and 60 cents a kilo at the moment so um or you leave it on the board and you uh get rid of the board you're getting 25 cents a kilo at the moment uh so yeah why not double your money that's if you got time but uh, uh we've got one of these little things yeah there's not sure that could possibly be a uh, silver tab so put them with uh, the crystals but uh yeah on this part here there's really nothing left there so that'll go as scrap steel i'm still getting 25 cents a kilo oh actually the yard that i usually take this kind of stuff to i get in 23 cents a kilo um and the rest of the board okay well we've got a transformer here now a lot of the times these transformers will break up um so see how you go if they start really crumbling up and making a mess you might as well just leave it uh but this one's good and there we have it. a transformer we can sell uh, i think currently we're getting like 90 cents a kilo maybe a dollar a kilo and you've got this copper band around this it's only thin but it you know like, like i say with everything they all add up and this one's actually quite a decent thickness uh because it's got this solder here you know so obviously you've got to put this into like a dirty copper um, can, um burnt copper grade um but still again adds up um now i mentioned the and we've still got the transformer intact so way to go 90 cents a kilo you know i know that it's all about time and uh, a lot of people are time poor so you know um but this is you know what i'm trying to show is to get the most value out of what you've got instead of bringing me this low grade stuff um keep it yourself and uh so here we've got a extruded aluminium heat sink it's not much of a heat sink it's uh not very thick uh, so yeah you've got two options here one is to unscrew the uh, mosfet 
off the heat sink and just have a clean extruded. Uh, the other option is to try and break it out. Um, and remember all this crumble stuff that you crack off, you just tip it all into a bucket because it's still got uh, base metals, still got good stuff in there for the scrapyard, even though it goes as um, dirty pressing steel. But this whole thing like this could go as iron aluminium. And don't forget these MOSFETs are, uh, have got copper inside there. So uh, um, good value. And you also got a, a capacitor here. So um, there you go. Iony alley, just as it is. We don't have to waste time and try and break this all out. We could if we wanted to. We, you got the pins there. You just, well, this in this case, it's got a whole plate and we could clean it up. But for me, I'm just happy to speed things up and sell this as iron aluminium. Bang. Um, at least double my money. Uh, flyback transformers, as I mentioned. Scrapyards don't buy these as transformers unless they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they'll just rip themselves off. There is very little copper in there. It's just a little couple, a little winding, but it's virtually nothing. And it's all ferrite and stuff. So uh, plastic and ferrite. So scrap steel. Come on. Before you start eating MLC seeds, you better go. All right. Um, I've got a, a very thin piece of aluminium here okay so still iron alley it's got copper in the MOSFET why not and now we got to the little transformer and a couple of little uh, copper coils so that the little transformer it's a sealed unit throw that straight into the transformers this little thing here should have a copper winding around the ferrite bead pop the top and pull out our nice little copper okay so you know for many scrappers out there you know the, it's you're not getting huge volumes where there's just you know you you're better off you know going out and picking up more stuff and stuff you know a lot of scrappers don't get a whole heap of stuff so why not value add and spend some time on your um, boards on your low grade anyway so that's a uh, ferrite bead so we again straight into scrap steel and there's a little ball of copper definitely a, uh, a burnt co copper uh, that's what the, they grade it as it's so it's got lacquer all over it it's not bright and shiny um, you know, it's not as you know bright and shiny as that. Even this has got lacquer on it, but sometimes we can get away with this being bright and shiny. All right, another little, uh, a few more little copper coils. These grey ones, pretty good. So they've got kind of like a ferrite cap on it. So you just you just got to uh, pop it the cap out and look at that beautiful copper just unwind it out you see where um you know for me uh i'd love to do it with all my low grade boards but because i've got so much stuff to process i can't afford the time to uh to be doing this uh, but like in this case this is kind of like a ceramic coating very hard to get it out I can just throw this into transformers because it's just as good good as any transformer and then we've got these little coils here they usually got a an insulated wire instead of clean copper but I could be wrong just need a yeah okay okay so it does have clean copper but it's going to be a little bit harder so you know I mean you don't have to spend 
try and get the copper out of every little piece like this is going to be a little bit harder because the the ferrite bead is odd shaped so the copper's kind of funnily wound so i can just throw this into transformers don't have to spend an eternity on every little component you know we've got options so yeah again i, I got these very thin aluminium plates but they're really nothing so but i do have some crystals the old school long crystals now they have silver in them sometimes they have gold bases and probably a little bit of gold inside but predominantly this is silver recovery they're not worth a great deal to be honest because you need a lot of these to get a bit of silver but you know a lot of people um, pull them and keep them because it's all about speculating on the price of silver at the moment with the price of silver it's not worth processing these kind of things but if uh, silver ever did go to the moon then keep them <laughs> uh, you know that would be worth processing okay so I'm done with these boards or this board okay so this doesn't go in it's a flyback transformer but it doesn't go in transformers so scrap steel the rest of this sure there are other things where we got more silver recovery we can spend time but I'm just focusing on base metals here so those two bits and that bit just make sure underneath usually sometimes they've got uh, flat pack IC chips on there so I'm not going to bother with anything else nothing else for me here and I'm still getting 23 cents a kilo as scrap steel and what did I get out of it I got three bits of copper some transformers irony aluminium including my big heavy capacitor so good all value added and uh, a little bit of burnt copper as well so they're the things I've gotten and uh, look you know I could do that in in a minute or two just breaking things off if I wasn't going to unwind these kind of little things okay uh, all right, another style of low-grade board. This is co quite common. Uh, usually comes out of like a, uh, a, uh, a VCR or something like that. So here, there's no aluminium heat sinks on this one, but there are chips all over it. It's still a low-grade board, even though it's got these chips. Other side, and there's those little flat packs I was mentioning. Some of them are uh, too flat and too complicated to get off too hard uh, this big one nice and easy well reasonably easy just twist it off and these flat packs I'm paying I think I pay yeah a little bit more than just your regular long ICs I think about $18 a kilo it adds up guys you know um, this bucket I'm emptying all the time and this is just your flat packs um, well worth it in my opinion so these little ones I mean you know if you wanted to you can pluck them off they're only small they take you need quite a lot <laughs> to get a kilo but still they're still flat packs I, you know, could also get this little IC chip if it can be bothered. Okay, but it's these big ones, and like I said, it could be surprising. They could be uh, good ones, but it doesn't. You know, if you're selling me these IC chips, or if you just you can bag up these IC chips and sell them online on eBay, and you can get great money. Um, probably better that they crack open so we can have a look inside okay so I can't see any uh, noticeable gold uh, underneath the plate here it's uh, it's just copper but that's fine it's still an IC chip so um, but these kind of boards don't generally have great IC chips but and but we'll take them 
and if you sign to me I'm not going to sit there and crack open every IC chip to see if there's gold or not um, the price is the same um, okay hard to tell so I've got move some of these tiny little capacitors like we got the really big capacitor and they're tiny ones still iron alley put them in a bucket that one okay now once again as I said you know you got MOSFETs that do have copper underneath the plastic it's entirely up to you um, you do have all these tiny little you know uh, aluminium capacitors as dirty alley irony alley uh, but geez you know to get a kilo you'd need a thousand probably five thousand of them so I don't really bother with them um, and yeah generally like sometimes these capacitors like these little blue capacitors usually the board is marked with a C just to ensure uh, so you know that it is a capacitor sometimes these ones probably not but in higher end stuff they can be uh, tantalum capacitors uh, sorry uh, they, they can be kind of like um, actual MLC MLCC's not tantalum but these ones aren't so the rest and yep yeah, there will be people saying oh but you know this has got silver and this has got silver yeah but uh, um, as I mentioned you, you, know, you know you could pluck the whole board to get silver uh, traces of silver and uh, even a lot of the boards have got traces of silver within within the board uh, but because silver is so uh, you know so cheap it's only really worth for the big process to s processes to shred it down and and get their um get a bit of silver that way but i still will take the crystals because they're easily identified there's no mistaking there is a little silver tab in there so yeah so that sh scrap metal still get 23 cents a kilo why send it to me um and stockpile it for uh no particular reason the other kind of low grade board now so these are both low grade boards but say for instance if you were in america and selling to say board sort this is what they call low grade this is what they call mid grade um, but we don't call these mid grade although they are a higher grade than these ones our mid grade are actually real circuit boards uh, okay so mid-grade is basically all this kind of stuff from modems um, uh, from all kinds of things this can go mid-grade even though it's got a transformer still a good board again modem showed you one of them this kind of stuff that's all mid-grade board so that's what we consider mid-grade board whereas in the states um, the what we call mid-grade board they call peripheral board so that's the only difference um, so yes it's still a low-grade board we buy these at the same price and well with these uh, again I, I still prefer that you you uh, scrap these out yourself but there's a lot of value all this uh, weight you know it's just such a shame for people to sell it uh, for as a low-grade board like here 28 cents a kilo um, when you know you just got it's so easy with these ones especially just these two copper coils can go as transformers let me get down and usually they uh, they pop off reasonably easy sometimes you'll crack there's a ferrite bead sometimes the ferrite bead will crack and then you're left with sort of ripping out the copper instead but I'll try and pop one off no well there we go now some people actually go to the extent of unwinding this copper 
and there's quite a bit of copper and you know you can just sort of keep unwinding it out some people if if you've got time but you still want to get value for the ferrite is usually there's a, a double winding and so a lot of people with uh, some of these they might they might take the first layer of copper out and this is good heavy solid copper right and once it starts sort of like exposing the ferrite underneath so we still got a transformer we you know we're getting 90 cents to a dollar a kilo for your transformer but with this uh, copper wire obviously it's coated lacquered where it goes as burnt copper or number two copper you know this is 11 or ten dollars fifty a kilo so we've gotten a little bit extra value out of it um, same with the second one I'll just leave this as it is transformer nice really heavy you know it's uh, almost four times you know worth four times more than selling it on the board as a low-grade board um, it's a no-brainer really if you've got the time if you don't just throw it into your you know scrap yard in with your uh, pressing steel be done with it certainly beats stockpiling it and bringing it to me heat sinks this one's actually got kind of like a copper coil like a kind of like a transformer quite unusual actually so there we go so it's 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 like a toroidal transformer in a way and here we got a really nice chunk of extruded aluminium really nice and thick good value there so you've got two options again leave it as is even leave the transformer on if you want iron the alley and that's probably what i'll do because uh, once you take off the the um all these screws and then i still got a there's some uh steel sort of uh things in there you got to pop out and all that i'm happy with that weight i'll just uh go for the um iron alley and uh yeah see iron alley is about 60 cents a kilo so yeah and obviously it takes uh, a bit more effort especially if you're just breaking stuff out you know you can spend a bit more time and undo screws and stuff like that um okay so there we go same kind of deal it doesn't have the toroidal transformer on it but it's uh, for me i'm just happy to send it off here's a little board now remember this was a a, a low grade board but yeah. sometimes these little cards sitting on they can, they'll go as a, as a mid-grade um, so again we, we're going from uh, what was 28 cents a kilo to $1.70 a kilo I just get rid of this box so these sealed kind of units they're really nothing I just throw these into scrap steel just want to get this board we can if I don't yeah sometimes it's gonna just crunk crunch up so that's just gonna that's just low or nothing it's got a little transformer you can always take off the transformer uh, so I'm not gonna worry about that board it's, so here you got your your MOSFETs um, again they got copper in there um, they're sort of tin plated copper and they've got plastic on the other side now these should technically go as a, an irony copper um, but the problem is a lot of scrapyards don't recognize these and so it, you know if you threw this into a bucket and said oh this is going to this is irony copper they're going to say what you know 
and um, you know most won't check to see if, if it really is or not so I don't generally worry too much about them but you could also put them into like a irony brass but uh, for me I don't I don't really worry about them so like this board here it's uh, it's going to be really hard to, to get it, but it would be a mid-grade board if I, I could get it out. And and we're still going with the copper. We've got these, uh, we've got a tiny little copper coil. And we take that. Take out the ferrite. So again, I'll unwind that and get the copper out of it. Nothing there. We want this nice copper coil here ah, so good that it happened because I wanted to show you a lot of times the ferrite ring breaks and so you end up with something like that uh, but you can still wind out the copper out of it um, I'll still try and cut it out yeah I'll get there we go. All right. So in this case, since it's already busted like that, half the work is done. I'll wind the copper out of the ferrite. And we're going to have quite a serious chunk of copper here. You get what I mean? We're going to have a really nice piece of copper wire and these ferrite uh, pieces they'll still go into scrap metal they're magnetic so still can throw it into scrap steel um, yep yeah, a couple more here probably what I'm probably best off doing is just trying to cut it out before it breaks out anyway it's usually a uh, four little bits of wire you got to cut one in each corner it's not going to cooperate there we go so there we go so we've got a complete one here and again if you've got the time you can uh, either unwind the copper out of it or simply just break that break that ferrite and away you go so I'm winding the baby out too easy ferrite scrap steel and as you can see we, you know this is thick really thick heavy gauge copper so you know don't be shy go for it um, probably need a screwdriver here so I can is this a, a join to this uh, little board but yeah so we still want that little copper coil we want the little transformers there as mentioned you could take these huge aluminium capacitors and throw them into Ioni Alley and they do weigh you know they've got quite good weight on them the big ones are certainly worth it you fill up a bucket of that huh my camera overheated <laughs> so it sort of interrupted where I was these GoPros they're just uh, very um, they, they don't work well in uh, in the heat summer here in Australia and it's not even hot today it's only you know 24 degrees or something Celsius so um, yeah so yeah with these little things um, they're always good for some nice copper um, sometimes a little bit will stick on I don't sort of try and pick off every little bit um, but we've got the majority and it's quite decent from that little coil that was in that little plastic box you know so uh, obviously there's a, a mid-grade board uh, this one in particular is really hard to get out uh, it'll just crumble up and turn into nothing anyway but still got another good piece of aluminium to get um, 
what else we got yeah a little transformers and um and then the rest yeah I, I would just again throw it into scrap steel even got a little transformer here break off you know still a transformer uh certainly worth a lot more than selling it to me as a low-grade board or <laughs> um yeah and you know things like this again nothing really on there uh most guys would just throw this straight into scrap um scrap steel it's the best way to go but you know it does have a, a transformer that yeah well this one's gonna crumble up so i oh, know hey, it came off it does have a little bit of copper strip around it but um yeah there you go transformer ready to go and you know once again capacitor we could throw it into irony alley uh, a little bit of uh heat sink here rather than for me rather than undoing the screw and then pulling out the little pins at the base of it uh, can just throw this into irony alley just like that so easy you know but yeah like i said some people uh there are no pins here all it is is just a matter of undoing the the mosfet okay and now we've got extruded aluminium only a very small piece it'd take quite a lot to get a kilo but still it's it is what it is and yeah scrap steel um you know low grade boards like this i mean <laughs> there's nothing on it there isn't even a, a chip on this side or anything so you know weighs virtually nothing what's the point of storing it to bring it to me to sell it you might as well just throw it into something scrap metal if you did have time you know, I mean, these tiny little ic's they're just not worth trying to pluck off but there is a decent size flat pack here sometimes these can be really hard to get off as well but there we go it's just a flat pack $16 a kilo throw this in scrap steel so this is basically all I'm just trying to show you guys uh, especially you guys here in Melbourne that are, are bringing me boards uh, yeah just uh, um, re-mentioned that I, I, I won't be buying low grade boards anymore uh, so don't bother bringing them to me bring your mid grade and above gold recovery stuff all that um, most of you already know I don't buy anything um, like transformers or anything like that that you can sell to the scrapyard there's no point I'm not a scrap yard and uh, yeah but um, yeah so here uh, not a great deal there's no chips that I can see here apart from there too small a really nice uh, piece of uh, just uh, regular aluminium here and this one will just all I can do is just undo the screws here and take off this aluminium I can break this one off throw this into irony aluminium uh, more irony aluminium and and mind you extruded irony aluminium is actually worth more than regular irony aluminium <laughs> so you know if you built up a lot of these you could also always put them aside and try and you know sell them as extruded but uh and as i mentioned the extruded aluminium is like two dollars a kilo at the moment so it's highest it's been uh since i've been scrapping anyway and you've got to get this little pin out just because it's steel and there we go clean extruded aluminium ready to go <coughs> so yeah if you can you know it's not just for the guys that uh, used to sell me low grade boards but um, all the guys interstate that have um, nowhere to sell their boards well this is an idea you can do is just uh, value add by removing um you know the transformers and good stuff now this one's a, like a technical one it's it, it it's 
a pretty good board it come out of sort of like a uh, a network system but it still goes as a a low grade board because of these transformers they're all over it and you know most of the weight on this is is the transformers and chickens back up and uh so you've got two options try and you know in this case it's either try and remove the transformers or remove all the good stuff and throw this into steel uh, i don't know if these transformers can pop off we'll give it a go yeah they can okay so we've got good little transformers here they're really quite heavy don't eat my crumbles <laughs> so yeah so in this option here um you know i've got i can go both ways i can remove the transformers and turn this into what would probably still only be a, a, a mid-grade board or remove the good bits leave the transformers i could throw it into my low grade but it, for the sake of the video um in this case i would probably depopulate the whole lot because i can i've established i can get these transformers off complete so easy sell to the scrapyard we'll see what it just looks like see whether it could pass as a as a mid-grade board obviously I buy mid-grade, no problem. So we've removed the dead weight, and now I would have no problem buying this as a mid-grade board. In fact, you know, it's it's probably even better than a mid-grade board now because most of the dead weight, um, these transformers certainly made a difference in the weight. And we've got all these flat packs up the top here, including the embedded ones. And uh, well, these particular boards have um, see these little boards, the little cards stuck to them. Now, some of them are average, but these ones here and they come off really easy. These ones you can see these um, MLCCs. Now, these MLCCs, I've already tested one out on this board on one of these boards, they're all non magnetic. Okay, so you've got pink ones darker ones light brown ones and they're all non-magnetic which means they aren't base metals and like they don't have the nickel and stuff that would make them magnetic like here is a whole bunch of mlccs now there's quite a lot of non-magnetic mlccs in here um This one stands out piece of and you can see a hard drive magnet doesn't even come close to picking it up right and so therefore this is based on um, noble metals silver and palladium uh, whereas within this bunch if I throw in the uh, magnet it will pick up a whole heap of magnetic ones doesn't necessarily mean that every magnetic one is just simply a no a base metal uh, with nickel and so on um, some of the noble metal MLCCs also have a bit of nickel which will make it magnetic but uh, eventually these will be separated so the non-magnetic go completely separate and so I'm pretty sure just about every one of these MLCCs are non-magnetic might be one that is and if you're doing a lot of MLCCs it's probably worth separating them straight away to save you a big job later but I, I reckon there's two non-magnetic and one magnetic here just by eye there you go I was right so one magnetic two non okay sometimes they only got a tiny little trace of nickel so um, even though they'll pick up with a powerful magnet if you shake them they'll drop but this one sticks on quite tough but these two are definitely palladium silver MLCCs 
so don't underestimate that so but this is uh this is a a good turnout with these particular boards because now i've turned this board into a mid-grade board dollar 70 kilo it's sellable for me personally there are still things that i want to pick off this we'll get onto mid-grade boards um in an in the next depopulating videos because we we do have mlccs the resin dipped mlccs uh these things here are, are kind of like capacitors but they're um they're nothing for us there we go so th that's an, another option where we've turned a low grade into a mid grade sellable to me perfect and the transformers sellable to the scrapyard but this is in very rare cases it's only because these are, are network cards and um power boards from power system so i've got quite a lot of these and uh that's what i'll do just remove the transformers yeah but um that's pretty much it as far as low grade because there's really not much to it it's all about base metal recovery except for things like your crystals for silver recovery and obviously your ic chips for potential gold recovery and to sell to me so these are the couple of things that i will definitely buy off you if you wanted to go as far as removing them off your low grade boards uh, but if you didn't want to do anything apart from just getting rid of them then just take them straight to the scrapyard uh, because as i said uh, this wheelie bin here full wheelie bin and this was packed in nice it's only about 10 to 12 dollars what's the point of stockpiling this sort of stuff when uh, by the time it took you to fill up this wheelie bin you might have been to the scrapyard three or four times anyway so why not just get rid of them fill up bins and boxes with mid-grade and stuff and so if you're only coming to me once uh, uh, every six months you know you might come once every nine months because you've got more space to stockpile the better stuff and you'll get better value for you know obviously you'll get better money uh, if you're bringing in good stuff um, obviously a lot of the network stuff most scrappers um, you know if you're street scrapping and so on you don't really get that much but uh, yeah so that's all I want to uh, do for now like here we got all these uh, power um, uh, what are they rectifiers you know and I'll, I'll show you okay this one's opened up so here we've got we do have in this case not all of them do um, this is uh, extruded aluminium so fantastic yep base metal though and here we got our low grade board or what they would call in the states a mid-grade board uh, this is a, a high uh, you know a high higher grade low grade board but already i can see here this card could take that that would be a good mid-grade board um and yeah you can see giant transformers here um huge capacitor here 400 vdc uh uk made quite a nice one aerovox uh, another transformer here kind of thing although yeah um wire and all that but this would go we remove this from this casing and this would go as a, a low grade board where i can see so many great things you know the big transformers you know the, the big capacitors irony alley uh, uh um all that kind of thing so yeah it's just not worth for me like here i've got uh, uh a whole uh, tub full of low grade and a lot of this stuff could have even been processed and you know uh, value added but i just don't have time because i've got so much stuff coming in uh, but for you if you've got time value add and uh, rather than bring it to me because uh, I showed you the wheelie bin that's probably got ten ten dollars worth of boards this thing here it's probably got about forty dollars worth of boards in there for a whole wheelie bin whereas a even a mid-grade there would be two hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> worth of boards in there so it's a big difference handling all this stuff um, especially if I've got to move around you're cutting up your hands from the the stuff and uh yeah so 
save yourself, bring them to me, depopulate and take all the stuff to the scrapyard. Transformers and aluminium, so on, scrapyard. The what's left of the board, scrapyard of steel, uh, IC chips and things you can sell to me for precious metal recovery, that kind of thing. Even, um, uh, yes, if you're still paying attention to this video, um, you guys that are selling me uh, boards and stuff, power supply units. Some yards will accept them as Ioni Alley. My yard will. And the thing is, obviously, you've still got to leave the cable so that, you know, so they get more value out of it. But, um, you know, you could also not stockpile a whole heap of power supply units and take them to your scrapyard as well. See what they will pay for them with the, the cords still on. Um, like I said, they should go for Ioni Alley. Uh, another good way to get rid of uh, a lot of bulk and a lot of weight off your property and um, on a regular basis. So you might sell, you know, 10 or 20 at a time to the scrapyard rather than building up like 100 and then bringing them to me because you're filling up your car with low value stuff, you know. Um, so anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to uh, cover today. Just low grade boards depopulating uh, they're really uncomplicated so there's really not much I can show you apart from just going over and over the same uh, the same thing you know here's another finally uh, another uh, board that I just want to um, sort of point out that I seem to get a lot from scrappers so here um, it's basically alley extruded aluminium again you can take them off and just throw them into irony alley with all the MOSFETs stuck on them and all that and look at that two copper coils just sitting there and this is straight out there's no ferrite so selling me this board for 26 cents a kilo I reckon if I took off these two just these two pieces of uh, these copper coils that would be the same value that you would um, get for selling me the board uh, one two and there we go there's a little piece that's fallen on the ground and a lot of cases they've got this little sorry hope you saw all that a uh, little uh, black sort of stuck on piece of glue kind of probably just to stop them from uncoiling or something so uh, that's very common on these but there you go two pieces that you can throw into your burnt copper or number two copper and there you go that that's it actually does weigh quite a bit it, you know if you've got a bucket full of this you'll know about it you you'll uh yeah it'll be cool so I, I see it so often and i think well why not just take off these copper coils and even if that's all you took off threw the rest into scrap steel you're still much better than um selling it um as a, as a low-grade board um yeah, i think there was a few more of them but yeah not sure i'll be able to find them um all right so i better leave it at that because uh didn't want to make this video too long um so remember guys if you're selling me boards uh try not to bring me low grade boards because i won't be buying them anymore just everything else but i'm still buying like ic chips ram sticks gold fingers uh obviously cpus the ceramic cpus even better um all that kind of stuff i'll i buy pretty much everything just trying to uh, steer clear of buying um low grade from here on okay um and so check out the next video it'll be probably go from mid-grade and uh rather than talking about what i depopulate from mid-grade because i don't really uh, depopulate mid-grade boards what I do is I just uh, uh, I might pick off an IC chip or two but uh, I want to cover mid-grade boards for those guys uh, interstate that or wherever you are that can't sell don't have anywhere to take your boards to sell um, and so I want to sort of co cover that sort of subject and say well okay you pulled out a board like this you, you got nowhere to sell it, so what are you going to do with it? Throw it into scrap? Well, in that case, we go for everything that's sort of uh, precious metal recovery, and we look at reselling on the secondary market, uh, on eBay, um, Craigslist, Gumtree, um, or to 
uh, there's even a Facebook pages that are into goal recovery and they'll even buy these as long as you sort of sort everything out into grades and you know what they are IC chips flat packs BGA chips so on you won't have any problem selling stuff like that you know um, you know these BGA chips for people that recover gold you know these are highly sought after high gold recovery you get really good money for that kind of stuff so if you don't have a place to sell your circuit boards and a lot here in Australia don't uh, unless they're here in in Melbourne Victoria um, um, so a lot of guys are saying I'm just throwing it out into scrap metal you know and so yeah so next videos will cover all that keep scrapping guys have fun uh, any questions any comments get into it I'll, I'll try and uh, keep up to date with all the comments because uh, um, this kind of subject is uh, there's a lot of different questions people come up with so uh, I'll try and answer best you can I can and there's also a lot of my subscribers there's some um, guys that know a lot about this sort of stuff too so you know uh, sometimes they help out and uh, comment on people's comments <laughs> catch you next time